Hello, today we're going to be preparing a set of icons to sell on sites like this. We're going to create different versions of our five icons to give the customer a variety of choices. Right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is create a grid that will constrain our icons and make them consistent. This is going to be made out of vertical and horizontal lines with four circles of varying sizes inside those lines. Once we are happy with our grid, let's duplicate it six times and place them like this. I like to then export this as an image, delete our shapes and then replace the background with our exported image. This is so we optimize the performance of assembly app. Now going through this process is only really applicable when you're making say 50 to 100 icons in one scene. I've done it here really out of habit. We have our grid. Now let's head over to the food drawer to grab our junk food icons. These already feel like a family. So the most important thing to do now is to scale them consistently within the grid. Let's scale each one so they touch the second circle. Now it's time to add the background to our icons. Let's start by adding a simple circle behind each of them. Now let's duplicate that circle and rescale it, changing the color to the same as our icon. Our icons are looking pretty squeezed. I'm going to decrease each of them by approximately 10%. The final thing we're going to add is a larger circle behind the previous one. Now, let's remove our background and line them up. These look pretty great, but why have I created so many circles? Let me show you why. The idea is, is that we're going to give our potential customers a variety of versions of these six icons. Let's duplicate our icons and place them below the original. Now, delete all the circles so you only have the largest one and the icon left. Now select both, tap on the boolean icon and now tap on cutout. Repeat this for all the others. Duplicate the original again two more times. First for the bottom one, we're simply going to delete the most inner and most outer circle. And in the second one, we're going to combine all the red elements to a single shape. Then again, go into Boolean and click on Cutout. Now we have an awesome selection of icons to choose from. Before we export our scene as an SVG, we're going to group them in a particular way. Firstly, we're going to group each icon individually. Once that's complete, all we need to do is group them together. Now they're ready to export. For each website, there will be particular formats in which you can import your icons. Assembly exports as an SVG and a PDF. You can also export them out as a PNG with a transparent background. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you again next time and thanks for watching.